What's up everyone, this is Cybernet 8610 and today we have even more cards to talk about. Yes, the Yu-Gi-Oh! news is not over. We never sleep. <laughs> Golly, why can't they have the Yu-Gi-Oh! news like in the middle of the day instead of night for me? So inconsiderate. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, uh, let's talk about some of these uh, newer support cards. First off, we're going to talk about the new Glader Beast, Augustal. I believe is how you say its name. Anyway, it is a level 8 Dark Winged Beast uh, type monster. It has a 2,600 attack, 1,000 defense. Its effect is when this card is special summoned by a Glider Beast monster. You can special summon one Glider Beast monster from your hand to face up defense position. Return that monster deck during the end phase. At the end of the battle phase, if this card attacked or was attacked, you can... Special, you can Shuffle this card into your deck and special summon one Glider Beast monster other than Glider Beast Augustal from your deck. So yeah, the last part, the same Glider Beast effect. But the first part, of course, is something that's different where you're able to special summon a Glider Beast monster from your hand and to face up defense. That could be actually pretty useful. The thing I find a little bit more or weirder, I guess, really, about this uh, card is that it is a level 8 monster. Glider Beasts really don't use that. I think there's only one other level 8 monster, and that was like the sneak preview promo for that time. I forgot the name of it. Uh, was it Octavius? Maybe that's it. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I could see maybe some kind of level 8 build. I wonder if that's even possible to do something like that. I'm wondering what Glider Beast will be able to do with this card. I think it's pretty good, though. And, uh, well, if you could special summon another level 8, then you could just XZ summon, you know, a rank 8 monster. So that could... You know, I, that could be a pretty interesting build. I don't know. I might have to try that out whenever these are on uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro or DN or whatever. Let's see. Next up, we have the Madolce card. I know I have a lot of Madolce fans out there. Uh, Madolce and Jelly. Uh, this one is a level 4 Earth Fairy type monster. 1,000 attack, 1,000 defense. And its effect is when this card in your possession is destroyed by your opponent's card, either by battle or by card effect, and sent to your graveyard. You shuffle this card into the deck. You contribute this card, special summon one Madolce monster from your deck. It cannot be destroyed by battle, and it is shuffled into your deck during the during your next end phase. I'm sorry. You can only use the effect of Madolce and Jelly once per turn. So yeah, I don't know if it's the wording or if I'm tired or what, but for some reason <laughs> I couldn't say that effect. Anyway, though, it seems like a great card for Madolce's. Uh, again, I know I've said this a thousand times. Great to see more support for an older art type. I know Cyber Knight's a broken record, uh, but it's true. I I'm glad to see <laughs> more support. So yeah, I can't wait to see what Madolce's are gonna be able to do with this card. Like I said, I know a lot of you out there enjoy Madolce's, and uh, yeah, seems like pretty good support for them. After that, of course, we have something I'm a little bit more excited about because it's a little bit older archetype, a hidden arsenal one, and that is uh, Pecura Lineage of Gusto. I believe I said the first part of her name right. Anyway, a new Gusto card. Uh, we talked about it a little bit before, but we never had the effect just like the others, so I'm actually pretty excited about this one. It is Wind Psychic Monster, level 3, 1,000 attack, 1,500 defense. When this card is normal or special summoned, you can target one Wind Tuner in your graveyard. Special summon that target in face-up defense position. Negate that monster's effects. If you activated this effect, you can not special summon monsters except win monsters the rest of the turn. You can only use the effect of uh, Peculiar Lineage of Gusto once per turn. So yeah, and the effect, of course, it's the name of the card itself. That's the reason I didn't say it. That's like the Japanese name. Anyway, um, another... Another thing that I think is pretty cool, uh, this should help out Gustos. This makes me actually want to find all the Gustos. I think I have them somewhere because I, I didn't make a deck profile of them. Golly, what has it been? Has it been a year, six months at least uh, about them? And this makes me actually want to try to find them and uh, rebuild them. Seems like another one that's great support for them. Help you get your uh, wind tuner monsters and uh, go for those synchro summons. So seems great for that. Yeah, I mean, what more, what more can I say? It's more searching power for Gustos, and that's good. <laughs> Just that basic. All right, and the last card we'll be talking about is uh, Kalit. Ogre Lord of Dark World. I think I said the first part's name right. Not sure at all. Anyway, I, I assume it's an, another color. I, aren't they all the Dark Worlds like different colors or something? Anyway, though, it is a level 6 Dark Fiend type monster, 2400 attack, zero defense. Its effect is this card is discard to a graveyard by a card effect, switch summon this card from your graveyard. If it was discarded by your opponent's card effect, you can also switch summon one Fiend type monster from your deck to either side of the field. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what can you really say? I mean, those Dark Worlds and their shenanigans. Anyway, a uh, little bit afraid of them getting more support. Of all things, I know a lot of you, um, or at least there's some of you, I'm sure, out there that really like Dark Worlds. 
And, uh, yeah, they had already enough overpowering, you know, just overpowered uh, support from their own structure deck. They need more support, right? <laughs> but, yeah, I'm sure, like I said, some of you are really excited about this. Um, of course, just like most uh, Dark Worlds have, you able to uh, discard them by card effects, they can special summon. And then also, if your opponent does it, then you can special summon this card. And uh, you can also bring out a Fiend Tap monster from your deck to either side of the field. So you could even have like a negative, you know, effect type uh, monster that would, you know, hurt your opponent for special summon it to their, their side of the field. Or it could be weaker and maybe you want to run over it and do some damage. I mean, there's a few different strategies for that. Or just, you know, get yourself another monster, you know? <laughs> so yeah, uh, there's a lot of different strategies for this card. I think that's another card that's great support for the archetype. I, I don't really have any complaints for any of these uh, new support cards. You know, like I said, all these archetypes needed some extra power, and I think they got it. So tell me what you guys think about these. No matter what you're running, or whatever, whether it's Gustos, Dark Worlds, whatever we've talked about, tell me what you guys think, and whether you plan to use these cards. As always, thank you for watching. Remember to come right and subscribe, and all the info to the cards we talked about will be in the description. Alright, I'm gonna go get some sleep now, and we'll talk about some of the other cards, the artifact monsters, probably in a later video, where be tomorrow or later on this week. As always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys later. See ya.